We're doing things we need to film. Hello, you absolute legends, and welcome back to the channel. It's John here with Dad, and as you can see, he's wasted absolutely no time starting work on today's what video. Uh, this is my Mark 1 Toyota MR2. It's a 1985 imported into the UK in 1984, celebrating 40 years this year. And I've had this car the longest of all the cars in my fleet. I bought it in 2013, so it's been with me 11 years. It is a really special car to me. It's the one that started everything off, started off the Coupland collection. However, it's been sleeping. It's been off the road since 2021. The MOT expired in 2022, and it's just been sat in my garage, really, the past couple of years just not doing anything. Things took over, such as getting married and getting my house sorted, and also, well, the proton thing, the proton addiction, along with everything else. It's one of the things, because it's so special to me, Dad doesn't really like working on it. However, it being the 40 years of the Toyota MR2 this year, I thought, well, it really does deserve to go back on the road and get used. In this video, then, I've brought the car around to Dad's, as you can see, he's wasted no time in starting work already, but we're going to try and recommission it, get it on the road. I've got an MOT booked for a week today, so if there's anything nasty that we find, then fingers crossed we can address that between now and next Monday. We'll have a chat with Dad, see what he finds. We'll do the MOT pre-checks, and fingers crossed, the MOT and the MR2 hasn't deteriorated too much in the past couple of years. If you know anything about Japanese classics, you'll know they like to rot for fun. Let's have a chat with Dad, let's have a look at the MR2, and fingers crossed, we're going to be back on the road this year. Good afternoon. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm all right, I'm laid under a Toyota. Well, someone's, yeah, I was going to say, someone's parked a Toyota MR2 on top of you. Yeah. I didn't even get the tripod out to film the introduction before you'd got it sort of jacked up and you was underneath it. Um, we're doing the pre-MOT checks, a little bit of recommissioning work, maybe, on the Toyota MR2. Um, what are you doing, first and foremost? I'm making sure she's not got any whacking great rot holes in Yeah. Uh, I suppose before we start focusing on things such as seat belts and washer bottles and lights, the best thing to do is make sure that it isn't rotten. And as I said in the introduction, these Japanese cars like to rust for fun. When I bought the car, it needed some welding, it needed some replacement panels putting in, and it needed a bit of a respray. That was 11 years ago now. How's it looking? So you're tapping along that sill. We've actually replaced a part of that sill, haven't we? When we, we put first a patch in, mate. Yeah, it's got car. a bit of Mercedes door in there somewhere. <laughs> How's it looking under there? Not bad at all, mate. Oh, that's blooming good news because, as I say, they do rot for fun. Um, the fact that we'd addressed that sort of 10 years ago, not a major issue there. It doesn't go out in the salt and the wet, etc. Um, so, so far, driver's side, underneath, looking good, right? Up to now, mate, yeah. Excellent news. We'll have them wheels off in a minute. I'm just going to check it for... I'm just checking it to make sure it's not rotten yeah. first. Else then it'll give up on everything else. Yep, that's fair enough, I understand. What about this side then? Let's have a look at the passenger side. So you're tap, 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 tapping. What are you listening for? Well, you'll know if it's rotten because it'll not sit on right. I'm poking it with my thumb. Let's have a look under there. Let's see what we can see. OK. Poking it with my thumb, mate. Squeezing it. Just to make sure there's no rot under there. <laughs> Over 75, I put my thumb through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at the moment, it is better than the Rover 75, isn't it? Nice new handbrake cable. Let's have a look under there with you. Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh, oh. Crawled the way through. <laughs> I was going to say you've crawled all the way through the car. Can you get out that side? Yeah, of course I can. It's the mechanic crawl. I don't know if I could do that. Do you know what you need? A car creeper. Yeah, I do, man. <laughs> Because I could roll through like a train. <laughs> but also the car had been jacked up another two inches higher. Yes. So anything nasty underneath you've spotted? I've seen that. I have seen that, yeah. It's just starting to bleb on this wheel arch. It is, isn't it? I must admit, after we'd had it repainted, it sort of done it within a year. Yeah. It's, it's got a little bit worse, but not, not as bad as I think it could have done. Similar this side, isn't it? Yep. Still got a bit of play in that wheel, bit. It always has that. Is that a job we're going to do? No. It's not dangerous. Would that knock? I thought so. No. It's always had it. Off. Oh, on, off. I'll right, just reach across and work the handbrake on, please. Ready? Yeah, just on and off. There's no seas there. Let's do the same on the other side. That's good news. Don't go away. I'm not going anywhere. Let's take a look in here. Foot brake. Ready? Off, on, off. Yeah, handbrake. Off. So, drive shaft, drive shaft. brakes and stuff at the back are okay? Yeah, they are actually. That's quite surprising, isn't it? Nothing stuck on. It's probably good news, isn't it? Well, last time I had an issue with a brake sticking on, it was on the front. It did. I bet you still have, I should think. Crowbar under in a minute. <sighs> What's next? Having a good old look at stuff. Having a good old look at stuff, mate. That's all I can do at the minute. <laughs> we'll have a look at the front in a minute. So I'm very surprised that the uh, back brakes haven't stuck on or there's no, uh, no stick in there and the handbrake is working well. Those handbrakes do have a tendency of sticking on sometimes. Well, I'm guessing you've stopped parking it with the blinking handbrake on now. Of course. Are you checking bushes at the back, are you? I am, mate, yeah. Oh, it's only my lamb, son. That one didn't seem to make a noise. Let me a good old look at it. Giving it a good looking at. A good old looking at. Bless it. Bless its little old cotton socks. Not bad for 40. It isn't 40, is it? 40? Well, 40 what? Well, 39. It's 40 next year. Hey. Well, actually, no, it is 40 because it was built in 2000. And, well, no. Right. It was built in 84. Yeah, I see, son. Right, then, let's have a look at the springs. Brake hose. Springs OK. That's good news. Tyres OK. Now, then, one last thing. We need the big bar. Ah, big bar. So you've been underneath it at the back. No not major issue. I, not as bad as I envisaged. You've got the big bar out. What are you going to be doing with the big bar? I'm just going to check that. Sus them suspension ball joints and stuff. Yep. I just need it a bit nearer the deck. Need it a bit nearer the deck, my old mate. Just check this spring. I hadn't done this one. God. Whoever did them wheels did a good job on them. <laughs> yeah, you painted them. I did. They've lasted all right. Moon dust, Ford moon dust. Yeah, sadly the front near side needs repainting. It does. That's due to the fact that when I took it for an MOT, oh God, 
You hadn't had it checked by Six or seven years ago, it hadn't been checked by the legend that is Dad. And uh, I had a brake hanging on and it got scorching hot. It, uh, it bubbled all the paintwork off, didn't it? It does need redoing that. It does. Have you got some Ford moon dust? No. I'm still waiting for my battery to come back. My loan battery. Please, right, what's next? Please, you ain't got a loan car. Look all right. Not, not panicking yet, son. <laughs> Good news. Drink. I was looking for a knocking noise. Yeah. I can hear it. I can hear the knock. What's that that's knocking? You going to open the bonnet, mate, please? Yeah. You're thinking strut top? Something like that, isn't it? There is the AW11 4 age engine, by the way. 1600, twin cam with the T-Biz. It's a bit dusty. <laughs> Don't look at the engine bay. Don't look, it's used. Can you work the bar for me, mate? Yeah. Please? So you can see what's going on. Yes, please. Are you ready? Yes, mate. Oh, it's only a bit more vigorous. Oh, no. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Okie dokie. That'll do for now. Strut top. Just go around and do the other side, mate, please. Ready? Right, then it round the other side and do the other side again. You got your hands clear? Yeah. Mm, I bet it's a shock here. Right. Okie cokey. Call that it. It's not this link here, is it? No. I can feel it through the shock here. Uh, there's a knock, is there? Mm. Big problem? No. Good. Don't look. Don't look. Ah. Uh. I can hear it. I felt it then. No, I can't feel it now. There it is. So that's the rear shock absorber there that's failed, eh? It's not failed, no. But it's just a bit noisy. It's either the shock or the strut top. Let me just put a socket on that. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it might be loose. Oh, that'd be a bonus, wouldn't it? were fantastic. Where was that? In Skegness. You've been to Skegness today? Yes. What on earth for? Well, Mabel Thorpe didn't want me there. <laughs> Your I, band. I wasn't in a classic vehicle, so I wasn't allowed to go. Oh, Come in. Thanks, mate. Tease up. So you're going to make sure that that is not... <laughs> loose. Was it loose? No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, it would have been easy. It's like car CPR. That's where the knock's coming through. Through what? that shock absorber? Yeah. Okay. MOT fail? No. No, good news. Just a nuisance when you're driving it. it, it I, this shock absorber here seems to sound different. It seems to sound a bit wheezy. It seems to sound, it's probably where your knocking noise is, mate. Right. Okay, we'll have a quick look under there while we're here and call that a day. Yeah. So, the battery's dead. It is. So you need a battery for this and you need a battery for the Audi. Yes. Good, That's, we're finished under there then. Is there any water? I was going to say, should we check the coolant and the oil? Yeah, well, why don't you? I'm going to have Be careful tea. with this. Yeah, I'll let, that's why I will let you do it. Thanks, Mrs C. Appreciate that, matey. 
The coolant needs topping up by the looks of things. In fact, it absolutely needs topping up. Well, we've identified the uh, coolant bottle is a little bit low on coolant. Handily, we uh, have just done a Rover 75, which needed lots of coolant, and it takes oat coolant as well. So uh, we're just going to top that up. Well, that says G12 Plus on it, but it is oat, I'm assuming. Just deal. Good, let's top her up. Good job we checked that. Well, that's what enthusiasts like yourself should be doing. That was full. Enthusiasts like yourself should be doing that. You're looking for the dipstick? Hello. <laughs> uh, it's down there, that's it in quite an awkward place. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Two classic vehicles together. Peugeot 406 Estate. Absolutely perfect. And an MR2. The oil doesn't look like it's been anywhere. No, the, what, the car? The or oil. the oil? Well, no, it probably hasn't, to be honest with you. It's as clean as it to a whistle. Right then, Gromit, we've topped that up, we've checked that. We we'll never look at that belt, it's still got one on. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll do. It needs the timing belt doing, doesn't it? It does. But you don't want to do it. No. Do you think it's a nasty job? No, I don't think it is. Well, the good news is I've got a belt, yeah. and I've got some brake hoses as well in my stock. For some yeah. reason, I think we've probably identified need some new brake hoses at some point. No, I've got one in case it had cooked that side. Ah, well, I've got a timing belt. See how we get on tonight. Might just pull that cover back and have a look at that. Okay, <laughs> go get your tea, and then whilst you're getting your tea, I'll check the lights. And now, quite possibly, the only reason I bought a Toyota MR2. Haha. <laughs> Good. Pop up, up and down headlights. Pop up, up and down headlights. Right, now on to the front. We've had a tea break. Let's take a look at the front. Right, so Dad's jacking the front up. We've actually put the car on some wooden blocks there just to raise it up a little bit so we can get the jack under a bit better. Because it does sit quite low, even with the uh, low profile jack. Yes, yeah, so the last thing we want to do is catch the splitter. That's the one that's hanging on. What's that? The brake's hanging on. Ah! That's the one we had before hanging on. Yes. Good job we checked then. So this one's got a problem. So the first port call is to take that wheel off and have a look at the brakes. Might just need easing up, you reckon? I should imagine the caliper could do with a new one, couldn't it, really? A new clean or a new caliper? We'll clean it up. We'll have a look first, eh? Let's have a look before we say any words. So, interestingly, this is the one we had an issue with before, and you can see on the wheel where it, uh, where it sort of cooked itself. Might be uh, prudent to give it a paint. In go the axle stands, very important. Off comes the wheel. Da da da. Well, that wheel could do with a clean behind. This caliper could do with a paint as well. It's all peeling off. So the caliper's coming apart. What are you thinking? I'm not I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What am I thinking, he says. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to get you to walk around there yep. and press the brake pedal for me. Will do. So we've just uh, put the 
foot brake on and what have you found? Well, the piston comes out and goes back a bit on the seal, which is just what it's supposed to do. So we're thinking the slides need a little bit of lubrication? The slides are seized, I think. Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay, well, it could be a lot worse then. <laughs> it could, 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 couldn't it? It jolly well could, John boy. Oh, the hammer's out. Out come the slides. I need an assistant. Yep, what do you need? Just tap that on me, please. With the hammer. Yes, mate. Ready? Yeah. Thank you. There she is. That's called doing the spannering. Oh, that eh? looks quite dry in comparison. It's a bit grotty, isn't it? Let's go clean the dirt off it. So what are you cleaning these off with? White spirit, mate, just oh. to see if they're not corroded. No, just gone sticky. We'll just have to have a look at the other end, shall we? They're blue, aren't they, from being overheated? Yeah. What, what, what should they be, like a brass colour? They're normally just shiny, that colour. Maybe the blue residue on it is causing an issue? I don't know. Oh, Soon yeah. find out. We shall, mate, we shall. Bit of scotch bright on there, clean him off. No cracks or anything like that. Can't see any, mate. There goes the blue. So what will you put on there to lubricate them back up when you put them back into the slides? Got some silicon grease there. Ah. There's all sorts of people argue about what you should do, but if you put the wrong stuff on it can mess up the little nylon slides that are right. in there. So, so you recommend oh, silicon grease? That's what I normally use, yeah. Oh. Ah, that's a good little brush in there. Yes. Little bottle brush. Oh, that gnat seems to be... Uh... And what is it about? Now that, what it, whatever this is... Yeah, brake cleaner. It's not good for them, is it? For gnats? I've got cellulose thinners in there. Gnats They'll love it. Yeah. Oh. Is it because it's hydrocarbons? I've got no idea. <laughs> because they, that's how they come to sting, isn't it? They get the CO2 on your breath and then they detect you. Ah. But is it something to do with the hydrocarbons? Maybe. They seem to be attracted to the most lethal thing in the world. <laughs> Why would you settle in some cellulose paint? <laughs> Come on in, Nats. It's lovely. It's not, is it? It's killed them. But they love it. That Nat was loving this. It was, yeah, yeah, it was, it was all over it. There you are. If you've got a Nat problem, but if you're going to Scotland, you've got a midgy problem. That attracts the flipping Take things. yourself a tin of Holtz brake cleaner. No, they attract it. You don't want to attract <laughs> the damn things, do you? Because <laughs> people like you get stung by them, don't you? Gnats of the week. Yeah, I do get stung by the old midges. Well, it's, I don't know what it is. It's them flies around my back garden that uh, cause me problems. They like to bite me. Trouble with the brake cleaner is these rubber boots, it can rot them, you know. Yes. It can make them go funny, cool, all funny. Well, that's good with no lubrication in it. Yep, and it's free. Mm. That one's not as free, is it? Not yet. So you've, what you put on there now to grease that up? Some of this silicon grease. Yes, Let's have a look at that. It's in this tube, molly coat. That tube looks ancient. <laughs> you don't need much, <laughs> don't need lots. So you've uh, greased all that bit. up and it's looking much better. This needs painting. Well, I'm sure I'm not doing that at this time on a blinking Monday night. No, it is cracking on a little bit. I, uh, I spoke at half past five in the morning. I don't want to be jolly well tinkering here until nine o'clock at night. Half past five? That's a bit of a lay and I'm up at five. <laughs> right, now that's going all back together. Are you confident that's fixed that? Uh, no, I'm not confident. No. But should be okay. Hopeful is the word I'm looking for. Just need a little bit of TLC, that. Not a major issue, thank goodness. Hopeful. We'll get that back on, get the wheel back on and make sure it's uh, not binding. The brakes look okay? Brake pads? Yes, they're all all right, aren't they? 
what I'm going to get you to do in a second when I've nipped this up is to trundle. Oh, I should have put some real nuts on. Is to trundle around there. Yeah. And, uh, press the brake pedal. Sounds good. When I've got these nipped up. That seems free now, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but I push the piston back. Oh, right, I see. The piston hasn't been activated yet, but. No, because I've wound the piston back, haven't I? But the piston was not seized. What they do, the, the way the seals are shaped, when you push your foot on the brake, the piston comes out. Yep, and pushes against the pads. Yeah, but the shape of the seal makes it want to naturally go, when you take your pedal off, it was backward a fraction. Oh, uh, okay. And it was doing the same there with no with nothing on it. It was going coming out and then going whoop a bat. Right. Coming out. And so it seemed to be working as it should. Yes, it did. Well, you tell me when, I'll put my foot on the brake. Oh, hey, that looks better already. We've not even put our foot on the brake. So that, no. them slides seems to be working. That seems to be working. Let me put me put my foot on the brake and make sure it works. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, do it, mate. Ready. Just keep pumping it on and off. My pedal's gone hard. Yeah, stop. Off. Yeah. Oh, and off. Yeah. Working? Yeah, that's acceptable. Excellent news. Would that have naturally freed itself up with driving? No. Sorry? No, it got worse. Ah, and then obviously caused meltdown like last time. Good. Thanks for that. I should think there's a bit of a problem with that piston. You should think there is? I should think so. It won't keep doing it, would it? Well, we'll see how we get on. Right, so that seems to be much better. Let's have a look in here. How's the spring looking? All good? Yeah, seems it, doesn't it? It's all there. Shock <laughs> absorber's dry. Yeah. Breakos. That's all all right. It looks all right. That's all right. Boots are all right. Them boots are all right. That bush is all right. We'll just pop the wheel back on here and then... Uh, Go to the other side. Yes. On goes the wheel. Hooray. Excellent, Smithers. What did you say? This tyre's older than me. Don't say that, everyone on YouTube will moan at me. They, I must admit, they are pretty ancient P6000s, aren't they, the Pirellis? It's an 09. No, it'd be all right. There's no law in this country about it, but it's common sense, isn't it? Let's face it, I'd got blinking 10-year-old Continentals that had cracked worse than these. Well, there's no cracking I mean, on there. Listen, I know there isn't. No, no, there isn't, mate. Considering the car goes about 20 miles a year, I think we're all right. Yeah, but them miles have got to be safe, haven't they? Oh, absolutely. There's no point messing about when it comes to... Safety. Safety, but... Give us a spin of the wheel, then. Show us that wheel now you've freed it off. Oh, gonna... look at that. We'll just go stomp the brake. Right, now to the off side. Let's hope this isn't, uh, isn't as bad. I don't envisage it being a problem, but we shall soon find out. Oh, you're taking the wheel off. Is it binding? I'm going to have a look. Fair enough. <laughs> what can you see? <laughs> You'll get me the tread depth gauge, will you, please? What are you doing? I'm uh, You're checking this tyre to make sure it's within, is it the three quarter rule? That's it mate. There you go, so you're using a piece of paper or a piece of card with marks on no, and your tread depth gauge indicator. Give it a right, so let's have a look at this side, what are you thinking? I think we ought to have a good looking, give it a good looking at. A good looking? Hey look at this, it's burnt here as well. Terrible. It's, it needs Send into the scrapyard. <laughs> You've just upset a lot of people with that one. Break it for spares. Oh yeah, sure. Save clutter and you send up with it. There's not many of these about in this colour in the UK, I suggest. I know, you know why. Four. You know why. How's that brake looking? Well, let's do the same checks as we did the other side, shall we, mate? Fair enough. I'll go and stomp my foot on the pedal. Please. Put it on and off. Yeah, perfect. Good stuff. Yeah. That's it, that'll do, mate. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to lubricate the slides up or...? I am, yes. Yep. I suppose we might as well do it while we're here. I'm going to do it because it needs doing. So what's that you've got there? Well, it's a 
tool to push the piston back a bit. <laughs> you didn't fall into my trap. Pistons! <laughs> I haven't got time for Tom Fuller, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just haven't got time for your Tom Fuller. Oh, it's dear. Like I'm on overtime, mate. When I'm on overtime, I'm... Uh, what do you need? Divine intervention. <laughs> oh, I get to do the hammering again. Hang on. Ready? Don't hit your wing, then. No, don't hit the wing. Whoa. That'd be bad news, wouldn't it? Go away. Whoa. Same again. Please, yes. Ready? Yes, mate. Thank you. There you go. Oh, it fell straight out. Look, there it is, on the floor. Ah, more cleaning. You may as well do a good job of it, won't we? While we're at it, mate. Mrs. John Keaton's car has just tipped over a milestone. 68,000 miles. That's because she makes me drive everywhere. Talking of miles, I'm going to see what the mileage is on this, because I've actually forgotten. Hundred and, oh, I can't see. 129.594, there you are. Not too bad for a 130,000 mile a car. Uh, I need a miracle. <laughs> is it as bad as you thought it was gonna be? I didn't know what to expect, mate. I really didn't. Don't have too great an expectation, you're never disappointed. Under promise and over deliver. The secret to a happy life is not expect too much. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll not be disappointed when you don't get as much as you wanted. Well, that's a terrible way to live your life. Prepare for disappointment. Don't expect too much and then you'll not be disappointed when you don't get it. So it's going back together, okay? No, it's not. You've got a big wound on your head there. How do you manage that? <laughs> don't, don't even go there. <laughs> Did you do that on your hairdresser's car? <laughs> Some person's hairdresser's car, yeah. If you uh, haven't seen the video yet, Dad smashed his head. But getting twice! Out, <laughs> getting out the Audi TT. Yeah, as Dad says, on multiple occasions. I've got it when I'm blinking while driving the blooming silly old Volkswagen Golf, and then, when I got out the passenger side, I did the same thing again. I actually left my scalp on the blinking A-pillar. <laughs> Are you happy with that? Bubbling over, as somebody said to me today. Good job we did that, mate. Yes. Will that make it handle any better? No. <laughs> as soon as the blinking thing's been stood for donkey's years, it would be prudent to do it, wouldn't it? So that seems to spin all right. You need me to put, the, put my foot on the brake now. Well, I'll is, do some work. This is the bit I can, I can do. Do some blooming work. <laughs> I'm thinking about my tea. Yeah, so am I. What you got for tea? You got a coolant leak here. That's where your water's going. Is it? Yeah, you got a slight coolant leak. From where? On, off. On, off. That's brilliant, son. I'll have a look at that when I've done finished here. I'm not a bit sidetracked. I thought I saw a puddle on the floor. That's why your coolant's low. Uh, are you sure it's uh, coolant or is it water from your washer bottle? Do you have bloody antifreeze in your washer bottle? Ah, right, okay. <laughs> Does your washer pipes go through a radiator hose? Uh, no. Yeah. Right, fair enough. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking. Right, and on goes this wheel again. Happy with that? I'm blinking over the moon, I keep telling you. Nice to see you've got your safety shorts and uh, safety trainers on. Aye. Some of them fellas on YouTube have women sandals on. <laughs> I've been watch. I did watch the press channel. It is addictive, isn't it? Yes, the hydraulic <laughs> press. <laughs> yeah. Watching hydraulic stick get that. I didn't know you could excite a lady so easily, actually. <laughs> yeah, she gets excited. It's jolly well does. See, so the lithium batteries. Yeah. Have you seen them? Go bang. 
There was one on telly, you know, where they did one with this big hammer thing that drops, and it causes this huge fireball. Oh. But they, they was doing, like, Makita batteries with his press. I suppose it's intense pressure and heat. It causes heat, doesn't it? But now they've got a big battery. It's a, it's a fire service or something. And you can imagine they've got sort of a, a hammer on a pivot that they released and they stood a long way off. Mm. And it was like... No wonder these blink, because them little batteries in recycling centres go off like bullets, yeah. don't they? Yeah, yeah. Cause a problem. That's why you've got to recycle your batteries properly. Yeah, it was pressing these. Are you subscribed why does, now? Why does post-it notes explode? Well, it's an intense pressure, isn't it? it yeah, it, it put, they put paper in and it explodes. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But we sh I think we should start hydraulic pressing stuff. Oh, we haven't got any presses of big enough power for that We could do... We could sort of just nip stuff. Stuff I stand on. Yeah, hey, that's it. <laughs> Will it squish if John stands on it? <laughs> that's all nipped up. Now Dad's checking... Make sure there's no knocks, rattles, bangs. Nothing loose on that side. Same again. I'm going to pick my rubbish up. Yeah. And I'm going to look at this coolant leak. Sounds good. So you found a wee coolant leak there, have you? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I don't need that. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to edge your bets and hope it's just that this clip's rotten, which it is rotten. So I don't want to start messing about because I'm guessing that this probably the, the pipe that runs from the front to the back yeah. may be corroded. Right. That clip's no good look. Yeah, what's that clip on? A hose. Yeah. I'm shining my torch at it. Let's have a look. Let's yeah, let's come and have a look. But it might be that this pipe's rotten, this metal pipe that comes front to rear. So and it's that so it's that pipe there, and that goes to the radiator at the front, doesn't it? So that clip has... It's just rotted away, hasn't it? Rotted away round it. We'll see, we we'll can be optimistic. We all need a bit of luck sometime. What are you thinking? I'm gonna put, put another clip on it. That's what I'm going to do. Seeing as that clip's not doing clip stuff, is it? No. I took it off with my fingers. Fingers crossed. It just needs a new clip. That clip's not doing clip stuff. You told me something about some MGFs there. What was you saying about MGFs? MGFs was having trouble with them metal pipes all the time. Uh, I see. So a rubber hose connects to a metal pipe, and then the metal pipe corrodes, and then the rubber fails, I'm assuming. Well, yeah, but the MGFs used to go halfway down the car and all over the place. And that's a big job, is it? No, it's not a big job. It's just a nuisance. It's a job. It's a job. New clip, then, please. I've been to the clip shop <laughs> and bought myself a new clip, but first, the man at the clip shop needs to tell me what size clip I need. He's got his calipers out. Thankfully, everything at the clip shop is free. You found a clip? Hmm. I've got one with appropriate patina. Excellent. Yeah, I don't want a new looking one. Is that from a Japanese car? I don't know. Really don't know. There is a chance that, that part's rotten there. At the metal end? Yeah. So we'll soon find out. Well, oh, so the one this side looks good. Yeah. So hopefully that one just needs uh, a new clip. You don't get them like that anymore. What's that? That hose clip. All right, why don't you get them like that anymore? Because they're not made as strong. Oh, so that's a... That's a blooming old hose clip you've put on there. It is, it's been salvaged from something. <laughs> proton, maybe? Could be from a proton. So just to show you, there's the old clip, which, as Dad said, has failed. You can see it, well, it's just no good. It's not a clip anymore, is it? Rubbish. And there's the new old stock, shiny, super duper, probably come from a Rover clip. What bit we've got left? Brake cleaner, cleaner for your brakes. Here you go, I've got some brake cleaner. Jeez, could I, I oiled that clip before I put it on, it was very rusty. I'm disappointed there wasn't more excitement about me getting your smart car wireless work. Yeah, so I bought a smart car uh, radio. In fact, it's up there on the shelf. 
uh, next to <laughs> Inspector Treats. There it is. Um, you've got it working. Um, I think you plugged it into your Peugeot, didn't you? I did. <laughs> um, when's okay? Yeah. Tell you what I have got here, look. What's that? Yeah, I'm seeing mm. a Philips. It's my record player out the car. It's your uh, CD changer, is it? Yeah, there's a record halfway in and halfway out. Oh, right. So well, it won't eject, will it? So it messed about after we'd... It's always messed about. Yeah. There's a record halfway in. Oh, no. It better not be the Welsh wizard on his whirlit, sir. Can you... If I you can't see very well. I can see it, yes. When I've got more time, I'm going to extract it. Well, that's all... Because yeah. it's got an eject button, but it won't eject when the flipping... Uh... But it should have a manual eject. Mm. But it comes out a bit. But there's a record stuck halfway across. Yeah... But it still should have a manual so where you push in with a paperclip or something. Yeah, I did that. The reset doesn't work. I'll have a look. It's dead. How's that looking now? Well, it's not leaking now, mate. Oh, excellent. So well, it this... could have just been a case that it needed that new clip. Well, it's it? worth a try, isn't it? Seeing as the clip was not a clip anymore. Excellent. Sounds good. I took it off with my fingers, didn't I? What's next? I'm going to send you off home. It's done, isn't it? Tighten the wheels up and call that a winner. Fine. Can't do any more, can we? That was uneventful. We've checked the lights, we've checked the levels, we've blown the tyres up, we've cured that water leak. Jobs are good, then. Well, I'm thinking we've cured that water leak, son. So, for the couple of hours we've been working on the car, pre-MOT, what do you reckon? Could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse, you're absolutely right. These people wanted to see it rotten and falling apart and major drama. It's not done too bad, has it? <laughs> Out come the axle stands. <coughs> Let's get her on the deck. Well, there you have it then. Um, a relatively boring pre-MOT test check for the Toyota MR2. Nothing major to fix, no major holes in the chassis that we need to look at, no major coolant leaks, no major braking issues, it's not on fire. Um, fingers crossed it should be okay, apart from the brakes hanging on at the front that we've had to look at the slides on and a little bit of topping up the coolant and charging the battery up. It didn't need too much. Which says a lot, really, for the Japanese motor industry of the 80s. Things that will kill this, rot. <laughs> rot would have killed this, and it's been meticulously looked after. And actually, it had a full rebuild in the 90s. Anyway, what do you reckon? Boring? Or are you happy that the little MR2 is hopefully going to be MOT ready, and it will be an MOT pass? next week if you've enjoyed the video thumbs up please what else would you like to see us do with the mr2 if you haven't already subscribed 5,000 subscribers now and that is humbling so thank you very much to everybody that's subscribed let me know in the comments below what did you expect i expected it to be a bit more rotten than this anyway till next time have a great day whatever you're getting up to thanks for watching we'll have some adventures in the mr2 next ta-ra if you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.